right, here we are in lesson five of module three, video one. And in lesson five, we start working on measurements. So we're converting among units within customary measurement system to solve problems. Customary means the one that we primarily use here in America, inches, feet, miles, um, cups, ounces, right? Not the metric system. That's what the system we're going to be working on. We're also talking about multiplying fractions and recognize modeling and contextualizing the product of a fraction and a whole number of a fraction. So fractions and measurement. So first of all, we have a question here for you. Would you rather play basketball for three tenths of an hour or 1,080 seconds and why? So think about that for a minute. Hmm. I'm sure you have an opinion, depending on whether you like basketball or not, right? And also how long you think 1,080 seconds is or three tenths of an hour. So the problem is that we have two different units here. We have hours and we have seconds. And this is a problem that we see a lot in math. When we're dealing with measurement, we have to think about units. So which one is the larger unit? hours, right? And to accurately compare measurement units, we need to convert or rename so that our measurement units are the same. So let's change our hours to seconds. How many seconds are in one hour? So one hour is equal to 60 minutes, right? And how many seconds are in one minute? One minute is equal to 60 seconds, right? You do not have this in your book, but you could take notes on it. Um, a good place for you to take notes on it would be maybe on the back of your reference sheet. Did you see the reference sheet on page 41? This is to help you with measurement and you could take some notes on the back of it, page 41. All right, so one hour is 60 minutes and one minute, not one meter, is 60 seconds, right? So how many seconds are in an hour? Well, that would be 60 times 60. And if you remember, multiplying when we have zeros, we can do six times six and just add those zeros on. So one hour is 3,600 seconds. Okay, does that help us solve this problem? Well, not quite because we need to know the number of seconds in three tenths of an hour. Can we find three tenths of, of is also times, right? Can we find three tenths of 3,600? Well, sure we can, right? Um, we could think about three times one tenth times 3,600. Remember how we can break it apart like that? Take the three and the one tenth and split them up. The reason that we would do that is so that we could do three times 3,600 divided by 10. And that's a really easy thing to do, right? Because we can get rid of a zero there. So then we just have three times 360, 360 times three, that's not too hard. That would be zero. Three times six is 18. Three times three is nine plus one is 10. Oh my goodness. Do you see what happened? Three tenths of an hour 
is actually equal to 1080 seconds. They're the same amount of time. Oh my goodness. Why did it seem like 1080 seconds would be longer than three tenths of an hour? Maybe because it's a bigger number, right? 1080, it seems like a lot. Okay. Hmm. But they are representing the same amount of time because a second goes by really fast. And this is three tenths of an hour. So we really have to pay attention to those units, don't we? In multiplication, we are going to convert larger units to smaller units today using multiplication. All right, very good. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you have this written down on the back of your reference page, page 41. And I'm gonna clean the screen and we're gonna check out the next problem. Hmm, let's see. I think I, I'll tell you what, I'll see you in the next video. All right, thanks for your hard work. Aloha.